Alrighty, everybody. So it is now day two of our pond build. So up first, I think I'm gonna dig out the bottom a little bit more just because I wanna add a fish cave. It's probably deep enough, but I might go like another inch, I think. And then over here at the intake bay, I have to dig it deeper so that the egg crate and the filter can be under <clears throat> the level that it's at. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I guess I'm just gonna throw you all on the time lapse for it. I hope you enjoy. Oh, let's go. basically what I just did I just made this bottom area like an inch or two deeper so that the fish cave can be a little bit bigger I think I'm gonna put the cave like right here that seems like the best spot the biggest spot so that's what I'm gonna do now I'll flip you all over to this side for the time lapse Alrighty y'all, so we just finished the fish cave. Turned out pretty nice. I'd say that's big enough if like one of the turtles wanted to swim in there, like my biggest turtle wanted to swim in there. He'd have enough room to turn around and all. So that's what we're gonna go with for now. Next step is, I'm not sure what the next step is actually. Uh, I guess tamp in the bottom. And I gotta dig the trench for the uh, tube. I'm also gonna, I guess next I'm gonna dig this deeper. That's what I'm gonna do now. All right, let's do it. All right, so now we got the tubing and the filter box laid out. The tube is gonna run all the way up to here to where the filter is gonna be. We just gotta dig out a trench all the way up. So that's what we gotta do now. I'm probably just gonna jump right into that so I'll time lapse it for y'all. Let's go. neighbor cutting the grass but other than that we got the entire tube laid in the ground this is what it looks like before we bury it and this is what it looks like after you can barely tell that I dug all that up looks pretty good so far this is what we got going so next up is the waterfall and we took this apart because you have to put the underlayment underlayment and liner we're gonna have to cut holes for this i'm not sure if that's gonna work we'll find out but our next steps are the waterfall so i guess i'm gonna go right into that now let's do it
All right, YouTube, it is currently the next day. I'm thinking I'm gonna try and carve out the entire waterfall right now. This is where we're at right here. We got the waterfall laid out and the entire pond dug, obviously. So next, just doing the waterfall. Let's just jump right into it. Let's do it, let's go. mound of dirt on last little pile we only used about half the barrel i'm thinking that's gonna be it i'm not sure we could add as we go but i think we're gonna start we're gonna put the filter on top on right now i know it doesn't look the best but trust me it'll look good in the end don't worry don't worry So we have not picked up the camera in a minute, but we've gotten a lot of work done. So we put down the underlayment and the liner. The underlayment is too small. The liner I'm thinking might just fit. This is the waterfall we dug out. This is it so far. I don't know if I'm gonna change it or anything. That's what we got. The underlayment only goes to about right here. So I'm not sure what we're gonna do with that. I might just order another one, but that's gonna wrap up day three. I'm not sure when I'm going to pick up the camera next, maybe like later in the week. So I don't know. I'll just catch y'all when I pick up the camera next. See ya.